what's up? So this video is going to be about that racist Louisiana teacher, that math teacher, Valerie Sorogen, whatever that scrub's name is, and also that racist elementary school teacher in California, um, that turkey named Ronnie Burns Ellis. And what these two whack racist teachers got in common, the one in California called Colin Kaepernick an anti-American thug, and then the one in um, Louisiana said all kinds of foul stuff. So they stop acting like animals and the black people don't like it. They can go back and all. And I'm like, what? who is paying these whack racist scrubs to be teaching in somebody's classroom? You know, you, you're, you're, part, you're taught, you're paid to teach in the curriculum. No one asks for your commentary about stuff. But you can tell these racist uh, skunks ain't about jack. These turkeys sit in these classrooms. They be forming these opinions. You know, I I, I was reading something where uh, Jaden Smith, Will Smith's son, said something very enlightening, which was true, about how high school, how it's set up. It's high school and school has set you up like for prison because the bell and the way they condition you. Well, a lot of these teachers who are white don't have a clue about how to relate to black people. You know why they don't have a clue? Because they taught a curriculum that is within the context, but they have never dealt with black people. And how can you teach something when you haven't been properly mentally trained to understand the people? You can't give somebody black an F on a report card or say that this and that. You ain't spent no time in the community and been around, see? And Colin Kaepernick is far more understanding of the American life than these scrubs were. Some old racist, sloppy, sloppy Joe burger eating chick in Louisiana got the nerve to say that mess about Kaepernick. How dare she? She should have her. She a math teacher, so she probably couldn't even put one and one together properly. Be like negative one. She's whack and racist. She ain't got no room to be calling, talking about him. She don't know about no black history. Same thing about this teacher out of California. I'm an anti-American thug. And Colin Kaepernick like the farthest thing from a thug you can ever imagine. He's more patriotic and more righteous than they give him credit for. He ain't say nothing about the flag. He ain't say nothing about the military. He said he tired of black people being shot and killed by these police. That's what's up. Stick to the facts. Stop trying to make it into something that it's not. And who the heck is paying these teachers to be in these classrooms talking this ignorance when they should be sticking to the subjects? You know, and little teachers got Facebook or they won't get on social media. They should use a stage name or a stripper name or something. But to sit up here and bang mouth a man who showed dignity in class and backed it up with facts. Because these same teachers don't even know that Muhammad Ali didn't stand up for it and Jackie Robinson didn't stand up for it. They don't have a clue about what black people have to fight 500 years in this racist country and also to still be dealing with injustices. These same lame teachers and principal one who sit there and pop off that yang don't look up on that black, don't look up on that. When they go to the cafeteria, they don't even notice about the 1964 Civil Rights Act, which is a piece of paper that basically says you must allow black people in this building to teach. That's a sad reality that we're talking about less than 55 years ago, that if without that piece of paper, they could keep a lily white in there. And you get this kind of ignorant scrubs who say this type of debris and get promoted left and right. And they up there wonder, what are you teaching these children? What are you teaching them about what's going on? You know, the reality about what's going on. Because the reality of what's going on is that we live in a racist country that has not properly, and as far as the school administration go, it is a failure. You know why it's a failure? Because it doesn't understand the surroundings at all. When you're in a ghettoized, and when you have an environment where you're used as, as a political tool, and you're not given the same opportunity. And I'm not talking about someone to hand out. And this, this woman, this Valerie chick, was talking about with black folk, trying to make it sound like people with welfare cases. You know, that woman is not enlightened at all. Because most of the biggest recipients of welfare are white folks and a friend of action. See? But that's a whole other story for another time. But see, when you're uneducated and you're ignorant, just because you're a math teacher or you got a little principal uh, title, 
That don't mean nothing. That don't mean you ain't. That don't mean you ain't lame in the head. Just because you could fool them and get over passing those tests to be administrative, does not mean that you can comprehend the black struggle and what's going on. And to pick on Colin Kaepernick, who is a history lesson. That's a that's a crash course because he told the truth. They don't even sing the full four verses of national anthem because it's racist. It wasn't meant for black people. But to sit there and say these kind of names because Nike, because you're going to get all shoe hurt, all toe hurt because of that. Where are your priorities, teachers and administrators? You know, see, because with all black folks coming to your classroom, you can't pick on somebody and you can't stand tall. Wonder if the shoe on the other foot. See, think about it. Black teacher teaches white kids young. Never hear nobody coming out talking about Trump or saying stuff. Because it's dim between keeping class and dignity. And this is this garbage, this racist garbage because of Trump's foolery that's allowed these people to come out, no matter what their professions are, to act a fool and to say stuff that they have no business saying. And so, yes, I take exception to Louisiana racist teachers, Catholic teachers and principals come out talking about Colin Kaepernick, and they're not enlightened. They're not as educated as they think they are. They're not. So that's my take on that. You know, if anything, you need to take lessons from Colin Kaepernick because he's an educated and enlightened an entire nation, period. Nike signed him. Nike's allowed him. He's a spokesperson for it. Deal with it. Live with it. Instead of being divisive, won't you ask Brother Colin Kaepernick, how do you, what do you, what are you feeling and how you feel? And also ask somebody black about how you feel about these police's killing and this injustices and this racism with Trump and this other white supremacist that's going on in all elements of America. Hollywood is not exempt. The entertainment industry is not exempt. It's everywhere. And it's always been there. You know, when you can talk to relatives and people can tell you stories and you sense it going on, it's real talk. That's my take on that. Out.